My name is Gordon Love. I'm the owner operator of Love -A Wash Car Wash in Naples, Florida. I've been in the car wash industry for 15 or 16 years. We're in Naples, Florida. It's the, basically the southernmost tip of the west coast of Florida. Very seasonal area. We opened this car wash in January of 2018. Uh, we are big on prep. We, the whole industry is going away from prepping before the cars go in. And in South Florida, getting the bugs off without proper prep is virtually impossible. And we invest heavily in the staff and the equipment to prep properly before the cars go in to ensure that the bugs are coming off. We wash about 17 to 18,000 cars a month. We have the Mark 7 Softline 1 tunnel equipment. We have two seven brush brush stations. And we also felt when we went to see it in Denver that the brush control system was far superior to what else we had seen in the industry. Uh, so we liked how much equipment we could get in such a small space. Um, we liked how sturdy and durable the equipment seems to be. We had, uh, we were, we had a long relationship with Mark 7 with self-serves and InBase and we built this, when we built this site, we went in another direction and then had a lot of problems with the equipment and went back to Mark 7 because of the relationship that we had with them and they had also just gone into the tunnel industry much heavier so it, the timing just worked out and people that I trust within Mark 7 were telling me that they had the product that could deliver what we needed now. I always have a Yeti cup with me and I left it, I was adjusting something up top when we did the install and I left my Yeti on top of the machine, came back after we had gone to lunch and we had done about 130 cars in the time I'd gone and the cup had not moved off, off where it was sitting. It was sitting upright in the same spot I had left it. Um, and it just, it really speaks to one, how solid the brush station is and two, how much control you have over what you're doing versus things banging around and moving in the tunnel. We've spent our life in the car wash industry, both in the self-serving indie and in the tunnel industry of everybody just passing their problems off and saying that it's unique to us. And we bought seven rollovers from Mark 7 um, because they didn't do that. They always, if there was an issue, they would address it. It was, you know, rather than just saying, you're the only one having that issue, it's let me check and see if anyone else is having that issue or let me talk to engineering rather than just saying, oh, you know, you're the only one that's having this. So we, we have a high volume site, so we didn't want to be closed for a long period of time. And Mark 7 sent in a, a large crew of guys. Uh, we closed Sunday at midday and we were back washing cars at Saturday at 7 a.m. I mean, open for business washing cars. I mean, I know a guy who changed a set of wraps and a top wheel at a wash locally and was closed for five days. We were closed for six days and replaced an entire tunnel. So I don't, I don't know if anybody else, any other manufacturer that could have done what they got done in the time they got done. Working with Pierre, Mark 7's tunnel manager has been excellent. He's either had, had all the answers we needed, delivered on time, or been able to get us what we need through other people. When I think of Mark 7, I think of their quality, their innovation, and their ethical approach to doing business. And that's why I've committed to my two future sites to them. After visiting Mark 7 in Denver and seeing how well the brush stations cleaned and how the brush station controls made it a safer wash, we're pleased to say that that has come true in our environment.